In this article, we are going to cover the use of passenger general information schemes, otherwise known as PGI schemes. In order to use a PGI scheme, we first need to set this up. So we will go first to Captio Travel Settings, and then we'll go into Captio Settings. Once in Captio Settings, we need to move down the screen until we are in the itinerary section and here you'll find PGI schemes. Click on PGI schemes and you will find that there is a default PGI scheme that comes with Captio Travel and this is the default uh, passenger imp uh, general information that will be required when you create an itinerary regardless of which item or package you've selected into the itinerary. So if I click on the cog and go to edit assignments, I can see all the fields that have been selected as uh, default fields required when a passenger, when a, an itinerary is created. You can tailor these as you need, and you can also set fields to be required for all itineraries as required. You can also modify this and add additional fields for example, date of birth, or any other field that you require. Once you've made your adjustments, just press save and your changes will be saved. If you want to create a specific passenger general information for, for example, accommodation or transfers or activity, you will need to create a PGI scheme for this record type. So we will go to do this now. We'll press new and we'll give our PGI scheme a name. And save. As with before, we click on the cog and we can go to edit assignments. And now I can select any fields from the passenger object that have been created either through Captio Travel or as custom fields in your organization. And we can add these here specifically for accommodation. So I'm going to add one for bedding requests. And save. Continue to create your PGI schemes for all the record types as required. And then afterwards, you need to attach the PGI scheme to the record types so that they will be used when the itinerary is created. So let's do this now. In the left hand menu of the, of the Captio settings, locate the item and package settings and then move to item record types. Under item record types, select the record type that you would like and edit. And here you will find a field for PGI schemes. And if I click the search button, I can look up for the PGI schemes that exist and add them here. Then save. This means that now any item record types of type accommodation will use the PGI scheme for accommodation PGI scheme as we set up. This concludes the setting up of the PGI scheme, but let's see how this works in your itinerary. Here we have an itinerary with an accommodation contained. And when we move to the passengers operation, and we'll use the passenger grid, You'll see all the fields that are required under the PGI scheme, the gender, age, email, comment, and date of birth, as well as the bedding request field that is required for accommodation. If you have more than one accommodation on the itinerary, 
you will just see one bedding request and this will be used when communicating to suppliers for all the accommodation. So here we have seen how to set up a PGI scheme for accommodation, how to assign it to your record type and how the PGI scheme will be used in your itinerary.